So a smart air purifier seems like a great idea. You get a device that not only cleans the air, but it also gives you feedback in terms of what your air quality is, how well the machine's working. One of the biggest problems with air purifiers is you, you know, the things it's removing from the air you can't see and it's difficult to tell how well it's working. And so a smart air purifier seems like a great idea because it, it gives you that information. Let me unwind a little bit and explain what the problems are with a smart air purifier. If you, if you look at an air conditioning system, you have a thermostat, measures your temperature, it's tied into your air conditioning system and it turns it on and off based upon you know, where you have the thermostat set at. But measuring temperature is very simple to do. Measuring air quality is much more complicated. Um, there's particles, all different sizes. There's gases, chemicals, VOCs in the air. It's just so complex. And so the equipment that's used to measure air quality is usually in the hundreds, if not several thousands of dollars. In the devices that go into air purifiers, I can tell from personal experience is maybe a $2 part. It doesn't have the level of accuracy that the device that the professionals use. And it's not as simple as measuring temperature. It's very complicated. And when you have the high-end air you know, air particle sensors, those typically need to be recalibrated every year or two. There's no way to recalibrate uh, a sensor in an air purifier. It's just self-contained. You don't get access to it. Um, sensors also change their performance based upon the temperature change, or humidity change. There's a number of things that can affect the performance of that. And so I would say three or four years ago, we just stopped putting these devices into our machines just because we didn't feel confident that the information that it was giving was as accurate as it needs to be. You know, in a sense, it can feel like you're giving a false sense of security for something. The other flaw I would say with sensors in air purifiers is the sensors located at the air purifier, which is where all the air cleaning is taking place. You know, going back to our air conditioner example, when you're measuring the temperature, you don't put the thermostat at the vent where the air is coming out, which is where it's the coldest. You put it across the room so you can measure the room temperature. Similarly, you don't want to measure the air quality at the air purifier. You want to measure it <laughs> in the room where you're breathing the air, not, you know, unless you're sitting right next to the device breathing in the air, which, you know, no one does that. It, it's not giving you the air quality in the room. It's giving you the air quality of a cheap sensor at the air purifier. So it's essentially fundamentally flawed um, in, in the whole premise. And, you know, there is an alternative is beginning in 2024, every air purifier, at least in the U.S. market, is required to be certified. Um, there's federal regulations against it. And every machine is tested in an independent lab with equipment that costs thousands of dollars that tell you specifically what the performance of that air purifier is. And so our position is go off of the lab results that tell you what the performance is. And all you have to do then is put it in the proper size room and you have confidence that that's going to clean your room because the equipment that tells you how well it works is the high-end equipment, not some sensor that gets put in that, you know, who, who knows what it's telling you. Um, we just, you know, we just want to sleep at night knowing <laughs> that, you know, the, at least, you know, the product works and you're not, you know, getting a bunch of tech that really, that really doesn't do anything.